up in a different time. Most of the younger generation that I've encountered uh, on a personal level have zero, zero drive to do anything. I don't have like 100% drive to get in shape. I know we all have our focuses. We all have our struggles. We all have our, our vices. But it's like there is no... The deer. There is no... I don't know. I don't even know what the word is. You know, when 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 I'm when I'm told something or I'm presented with something that makes me excited, I am excited. I, I get excited. You know, my I get short of breath. I'm, I'm like, ah, oh, yes. You know, I'm scared. Same thing. All of it. You know, and the, a lot of the kids, even my own. It's not like it's not like it's being taught in my home. It's not. It, it's not in my home. Uh, me and my wife, either one. When we're excited, we're excited. When we're sad, we're sad. Uh, man, it's like they have no life in them whatsoever. I don't know. Like, come on, guys. you guys wonder why I do most of my talking in the truck that's kind of my thinking place you know it's kind of my <clears throat> my brain just settles down I got ADD really bad you know I'm driving down the road I'm seeing things I'm talking I'm thinking to myself just a blah 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 it's just a storm of things going on inside my head when I get behind the wheel it kind of calms me in a sense not quite as bad so that's why I talk a lot think a lot behind the wheel because I'm able to focus a little bit better just a little look it's my favorite place Walmart yay I'm so excited I just can't something today that I forgot to take the back off of this camera and put on the skeleton back so the audio would be better uh, anyway the ran, I guess real life crap So it's back to Walmart. I forgot my card. Grabbed my wallet. Didn't have the card. So I'm headed back in. Hopefully, hopefully, all my stuff is still in the buggy. Man, what a day. Real life.
so I got a struggle I need to deal with. I've gained so much weight that I am just sick of myself. And I guess about two or three years ago, I got into a good workout regimen, had some good friends helping me. I had Mandy behind me pushing me, and I, I'd lost a lot of weight, and I felt great. To be honest, I don't know what happened. It just kind of fell out. Uh, I think that was during the time that uh, we, had to, we had to take Mandy to MD Anderson a couple years back get some tests run and get checked out. I, I kind of lost a lot of hope. We learned that uh, there's some things that they just can't do for her and they can't help her with. I kind of, you know, we got that news and it was just like, I don't know, and I lost hope. She lost a little hope. It all kind of went downhill. So anyway, since then, it's been, you know, like two years and I have gained like all my weight back, like every bit of it. And I've struggled, I've tried, in between you know trying to get back on track I'm sweating it is so hot but today I'm headed to the gym I'm gonna try to get back on track I'm gonna try to get my eating back where it ought to be uh, under control and I'm gonna get focused so, I'll see you in a minute oh it sucks day one met all my goals for the first day Kind of got a workout plan, doing different things, different days, build myself back up to where I used to be. One of my goals is I'd like to do a 5K. I really would. Day one down. Complete collision. If you live in Loosedale, need some car work, get it done there. Seth's awesome, he's a good guy. We've got second Saturday coming up, it's coming weekend. If I don't get to go fishing Saturday morning, or maybe if I do get to go fishing Saturday morning, um, when I get back in time, run down here. Get us a yellow hammer coffee. be a different kind of vlog this time guys no action I'll probably put this one out before the weekend comes um, let me turn the radio down it's starting to rain let's see if I can get home before that like I said in the first one uh, my life's not extravagant I get to go I, I get to do things like go fishing I got a nice boat uh, I got some nice toys we like to go camping and kayaking and you know, it's uh, it's August, so some of that's gonna start winding down if we go. I'm planning on doing uh, cool weather fishing, but my vlog's not just gonna be about fishing. It's kind of about my life, so. Uh, different times of life, or uh, different times of life or different seasons of life. You know, just like summer and fall and spring and winter, you know, things change life changes um, when times are good you should live it to the fullest uh, that way when times are rough you've you got the you got the spiritual strength to, to carry on when I say live life to the fullest I mean reach out and grasp life and just embrace it you know embrace it the bad and the good you know it one thing that's one thing about life that makes it beautiful. You know, God put us here. He put us here for a reason. He created us for a reason. And who are we to just blindly go through this life doing nothing with it? You know, if you read your Bible, if you're, you're spiritual at all and you read your Bible, the Bible talks about being the salt of the earth. It says, what good is salt if it's lost its savor? You know, I, I feel like 
I feel like it's our duty to live life to the fullest. I want someone to look at my life, the good and the bad, and say, man, I want what he has. And I think that's what it's all about. I have a goal to lose 60 pounds in one year, and that's not that hard to accomplish. But the only way I'm gonna do that is if I stick to it. I can lose a lot more a lot faster. But if I can't stick to it, then it doesn't matter, it's just gonna come back. I gotta change my life. I gotta change my lifestyle. I've done that once, and then it crept back. It became part of the norm again, so. I don't know. I guess I'll, uh, I guess I'll document some of the, the eating habits and changes that I make in my life. And uh, I don't know, maybe it'll help somebody. So, consider this vlog day one. Because this is a serious thing for me. I mean, this is my health. I've got a family that I need to be alive for. I, I got a family I need to be, I need to live as long as possible. We have all these plans. I have all these things I want to do in life. So much. If I'm not healthy, all those wants are in vain. So, here we go.